following contest is an eight-man battle royal. And from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 320 pounds. Did you guys see the Brandon. WWE 24 episode about Buzz? I highly recommend it. Yeah, you also highly recommend a sushi joint when we're in Topeka. I think I'm gonna pass. Let's ask Baron Corbin, what makes you happy? What drives you? He told me two things. Getting under people's skin and exposing them to their worst fears. And from Kansas City, Weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin! The Lone Wolf is a man who doesn't seem to play well with others because he says others always have a problem with losing. Former Money in the Bank contract holder. Former United States champion, winner of an Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Oh, WWE! Okay, Corey, I have a challenge for you, all right? You for the first time in your sad. life, try to be positive, man. We are the reigning tag champs. And feel the power! And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods! Uh, Xavier with Francesca number 88. Oh man, I would love to have my own Francesca. When there is a grown man playing a green trombone, tossing pancakes around, wearing rainbows and unicorns, it's hard to be positive about anything. All right, well, I'm happy to share my pancakes with you then. This don't discount his intelligence either. Only his PhD in educational psychology. Maybe in addition to two bachelor's degrees in psychology and philosophy. Well, maybe you should have graduated six. Pretty incredible what this man has accomplished in his career. Yeah. Jinder Mahal has worked for everything that he has, but now everything that he has is the best in the world. First class all the way. Airplanes, limousines. That newly found lifestyle, Corey, a direct result of the changes Jinder Mahal underwent from changing his body to reshaping his mind, his confidence, his outlook on life. Try this out with me, Byron. Take a deep breath. Shanti. Uh, Shanti. 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 I don't think...
It's time for a perfect 10. Come on, Corey, put your hands up. 10, no. 10, 10, 10. And from Niagara Falls, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the perfect 10, Ty Dillinger. Far from flawless. The guy's got more flaws than counterfeit jewelry. Listen, Corey, just let me break it down for you, okay? Ty doesn't believe he's literally perfect, but it gives him something to strive for. Every time you wake up, you want to be a little better than you were yesterday. That, but that's what the perfect 10 is all about. The guy's a sociopath. All he cares about is himself. All he's worried about is Ty Dillinger and 10, 10, 10. The guy is irritating. From Bulgaria, weighing in at 304 pounds, Rusev. There's only one holiday worth celebrating 365 days a year. You know what that is, Byron? I don't know. What is it, Corey? It's Rusev Day. Here it is. Rusev Day is a real-life phenomenon, taking the world by storm. It really is a holiday, Byron. It pops up on my calendar on my phone. Okay, so uh, no matter how you feel about this made-up holiday, what it has done is uh, provide virtual jet fuel for the confidence of Rusev, who is more driven than we've ever seen him. Mojo's here, and he's all business. And from Alexandria, Virginia, weighing in at 265 pounds, Mojo Rawley. You know, Corey, as soon as Mojo shed that loser Zack Ryder, he's completely changed his life. You're absolutely right. It's been a straight upward ascent well, for yeah. Mojo Raleigh. You mean when Mojo stabbed Zack Ryder in the back? Maybe Zack Ryder should have done better. Maybe Mojo should have been more honorable, more upfront about his desires. Honor doesn't win championships, Byron. You can't buy a... Here comes the worst internet champion ever, Zack Ryder. And their opponent from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 224 pounds, Zack Ryder. You guys ever notice that everybody Zack Ryder gets close to dumps him? I even have it on good authority that Zack Ryder's father gets paid a significant sum to sit in the front row. Okay, that's enough, Corey. He never sat back and waited for opportunities to be handed to him. He went after those opportunities. He grabbed them. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Oh, I think this man made business. That's it. It's over. It's over. Boy, that hit the mark. Drives him down with a power bomb. Great offense by Baron Corbin. Doubled over now. Getting in with a strike like that lets you know just what kind of fight you're in. Now that's a takedown. In control here with a... 
Great offense by Rusev. So damaging. Lands a quick punch. Look at this. The mighty Rusev looking a bit surprised by this assault. But he's not appearing too worse Ooh. for wear. At least not yet anyway. Left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. It's about to get bad. Jinder Mahal enters this match in fantastic shape tonight, guys. He already has an imposing look, but he also brings great strength. How can you counter all that, Corey? Yeah, Cole, the modern-day Maharaja is big and bad, but we've seen enough David versus Goliath battles in WWE to know that sometimes speed and cunning can win over brute force. He's flagrantly breaking the rules. This could cause irreparable damage. Come on, ref! I have to reiterate my point about using speed against Jinder. We've seen a few formerly fast wrestlers trade their leaner physique for more strength and muscle, but that causes their speed to drastically go down. The numbers don't lie, Corey. Mahal saw great success by training for strength, but agile superstars like AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy show that you can properly tire out and knock down a bigger man like Jinder. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Snap suplex. Very nice. He's making a statement here with this attack. Rusev's on the attack now. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, man. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Rusev is making his presence known. And what a reversal for Rusev. Take it off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. Executed perfectly. Check out Jinder Mahal's offense. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. When this guy's on, look out. No, he reverses it. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. Larian! Oh, boy, he is rolling. Slams him down with authority. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. This is all but over. We may very well be seeing the finisher here very shortly, guys. And when that happens, you can bet this one's going to be over. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. I don't want to know what that feels like. I'm with Corey. I suspect the finisher is on the horizon, and given how impactful that move has been as of late, I'd say there's almost no coming back from it. You're right, Michael. It seems like that finisher has become more and more impactful with each passing week, but that's even possible. Great move! Zack Ryder turns it around. <laughs> he
He delivers a hard clothesline. What does Buzz have in store? Well, he hits it. Buzz brings everyone to their feet. That's it. The match is over. You're looking at the new number one contender for the United States Championship. What a debut on SmackDown Live. He didn't even pin anyone. It was a battle royal. He didn't have to. Apparently, the U.S. champion wants to get a closer look at his opponent. It appears Bobby Roode isn't too impressed with Buzz either. That's because he watched the same exact match I did. Buzz isn't going to win the U.S. title by throwing Bobby Roode over the top rope. If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the U.S. title is here on SmackDown Live. And we've learned he's going to get his U.S. title shot at Backlash. Now, I can't wait to hear him try to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. This should be good. A few months ago, I was wrestling in high school gyms in front of maybe 300 people. A lot's changed since then, to say the least, because now I'm wrestling one of the best in the business, Bobby Roode, for the U.S. title at Backlash. Through all my ups and downs, I've learned that you can't take anything for granted. And that's why at Backlash, I can't guarantee that I'll beat Bobby Roode. But I can guarantee I'm going to enjoy the moment because you never know when it could all go away. I know when it could all go away. Sunday at Backlash, when this man totally embarrasses you. You know, after seeing so many guys come and go over the years, you become a bit jaded. Last week, I was ready to pass you off as some indie darling who hadn't paid his dues and didn't deserve to be here without even really meeting you first. But maybe you deserve a second chance. You don't have to like him, but you can at least be fair. And we've all made mistakes. Yeah, I like the suit you're wearing tonight. You did just call me one of the best in the business, after all. I meant it. You are. I'd actually say the best in the business, not one of. But I appreciate it nonetheless. So with all that being said, it's nice to meet you, Buzz. A couple minutes ago, you talked about savoring the moment. Well, with that in mind, how about we make our match at Backlash an even bigger moment for everyone to enjoy? A moment that would be absolutely glorious. I like what you're saying. But how do we do that? You versus me, best two out of three falls. I look forward to sealing the show with you. Their match at Backlash just got even bigger. So, did you enjoy the moment? What do you mean? The moment you thought you had earned my respect. <laughs> Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Cole. Thank you, Bobby Roode. So much for second chances. Bobby Roode just sent a message to Buzz that he's going to have to earn his respect, not with words, but in the ring when they face each other at Backlash, the best two out of three falls. The championship is up for grabs coming up next.
We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. Don't miss it. The following contest is a two out of three falls match and is for the United States Championship. The crowd is buzzing with excitement. Buzz is here. Buzz is a man who has sacrificed everything to be here today, even living in his van at times when he was on the Indies. Look, I know I'm not the biggest Buzz supporter, but even I have to admit, that's the definition of paying your dues. Things just became absolutely glorious. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Not from you, Byron. How many times do we have to go through this? I've been practicing all week. You haven't gotten any better. There is only one, Bobby Roode. Introducing the challenger from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 320 pounds, Brandon. Introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the United States champion, Bobby Roode. Get ready for some WWE magic. We saw these two men. Bobby Roode stood over Buzz after hitting him with a glorious DDT. The question is, will tonight's best two out of three falls match end the same way? Yes, and I want to reiterate, this is Buzz's first actual singles match in WWE, and it's two out of three falls. He is in over his head. Look, a huge challenge, no doubt, but you have to start somewhere. 
have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. The damage has been done. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. Now that's how you make a statement. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. He's inflicting some serious pain here. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Oh, oh, man. The face. That's gonna hurt. Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, inferior competition? That's nuts. I'm willing to bet the champ started that rumor in an attempt to get into his opposition's head. Either that or Corey's just making stuff up, as you alluded to, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Walking around the city earlier today, guys. The old... Oh, I think this man means business. I'm not sure how much he has left. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Can he finish? He's got him covered. Two, three. We have the crowning of a new champion. And he goes up and over. Looking to flatten him now. Oh, I think this man means business. Look at this. The scoop slam. He's displaying classic offense here. So painful. And a suplex. Oh, smash! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. And if you thought the first one was brutal. There it is, the Tiger Bomb. This one's over, guys. Shoulders on the mat. One, two, three, three. This is unbelievable. The championship changes hands. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Buzz has done it. He's outlasted Bobby Roode to win his first title in WWE. And even more impressive, he did it in his first singles match. This guy is the real deal. Yeah, look, it's certainly a huge accomplishment to win the U.S. title the way that he did. But now the real work begins, defending it. He just won the title. Let the man enjoy it for two minutes.